Willens, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Wellens. See you soon. Whoa! 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 The door is jammed shut with vines. We've been forced back here, with no save point. Oh, I mean, we could take the long way just to see if anything changed. Just in case, right? But oh my goodness, what is going on? Like, I feel like I have a little bit of it. The whole Flowey and Asriel thing seems like there's something there. But why? I still don't understand why. I'm obviously living the experiences of my character, Welland. So how come I don't know that we had interaction with other people before, like Flowey? Oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have taken the long way. This is actually kind of painful to relive. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, the long way is actually a lot longer. <laughs> uh, wait, where did we leave off? Oh, we were right in front of Asgore's. So, are we going back to fight him again? Why did I find out all that information? Did I really want to know? Will that have... Am I really happier now? I don't feel so. Oh. No save points anywhere. Sans? Nope. Jeez. Let's just make sure. Oh my god. I'm so confused. Mm, well, everything is the same. Hello, flower garden. Back here once again. Back at the barrier. Of course, there would be a save point here. So is everything the same as before now then? We just fight Asgore again? This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I don't have any. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Oh, I have to relive this again? Killing my dad? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Hmm? What? God. Oh, I thought I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, okay. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. 
It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian, and mother! Mother! At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized, I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy, too. Tori, you came back! Do not Tori me, dreamer! You pathetic whelp! If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Oh, I never even thought about that. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... <sighs> Hello, I am Torio. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? <laughs> Way to be direct about it. Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> Look at Asgore's face. H hey! Nobody hurt each other! <clears throat> oh! Are you another friend? I am Toriel! Hello! Uh, hi! Uh, there's two of them? <laughs> hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help! Hello! Oh! Hello, your majesty! Hey, human! Did Asgore shave? Nope. And clone himself? <laughs> I thought Papyrus knew Toriel was the queen, but it seems like he mistook her for Asgore. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? That voice! <gasps> Hello! I think we may know each other? Oh, hey! I recognize your voice too! I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, um, same. Oh, wait. Then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Aw, Sans must have told her about him. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie. I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Mmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles! I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! <laughs> Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. Oh, Asgore's crying, I didn't even notice. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. T sometimes you just gotta... Um... Stop going after furry boss monsters and um, did you just get to know a really cute fish? <laughs> Talking about yourself? <clears throat> it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action! Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy! Right, Alphys? <clears throat> Uh, Alphys? <clears throat> no. He's right. Let's do it. 
Well, uh, I, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. <laughs> Wait! Not in front of the human! What? In front of the human, please! I've, I've been waiting like 10 hours for this! Uh, uh, right! T sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everyone? Let's just say, a tiny fla- Oh my god. A, a t -t tiny f f flower? Oh! No! 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 I will kill you. Holy shit. I will kill you. I'm not even kidding. You idiots. Well, you guys were having your little powwow. I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. Oh, shit. Oh! And now, with their souls and the humans is together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you wouldn't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied, but that won't happen. You? I'll keep you here no matter what. Holy shit. Even if it means killing you a million times. You are... You have mental problems, seriously. <gasps> Toriel? What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh, everybody! Oh, Undyne Papyrus! That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human! If you got past me, you can do anything! So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on ya! Oh! Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow, I know you can do it! Human, for the future of humans and monsters! You have to stay determined! You too! Come on, you got this! La la la! You've gotta win! You can do it! Ribbit! <laughs> uh, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You? You! I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! Thank you.
Finally! I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy! Willens, are you there? It's me, your best friend. As real dreamer, we finally meet. It's the end. Holy shit, I really want to fuck you up right now. You just took all the friends away from me? Are you serious? <sighs> Asriel Dreamer. Infinite attack, infinite defense. Legendary being made out of every soul. Every soul in the underground. Whoa! This is trippy. If I defeat him though, does that mean that... Holy shit. Does that mean that everybody I've ever made friends with in the underground will be gone too? Fuck! Fuck! One turn! I didn't even last one turn. <gasps> but it refused. <gasps> we have to stay determined! That's right! We have to! We have to beat him! You held on to your hopes! You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn! That's right! The only thing humans are good for! Determination! We have to... For everybody! We have to make it! Look! See? That's what determination can do to you! You don't get hit at all! Asriel charges Shocker Breaker! You think about why you're here now! You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller! I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Only about me, right? Oh man. Asriel calls on Chaos Saber. I didn't have any empty space in my inventory to begin with anyway, I don't think. So... But I think we should eat a cinnamon bun. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline. I just want to reset everything. Wow, shit. Asriel charges Shocker Breaker. Even if I understand the pattern, these are ones that are really hard to dodge. I can't rely on people saving me every time, so I'm gonna eat. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero! I did my best there. Asriel ready, star blazing. Okay, I think that's the first one. Let's hold on to our hopes again. You kept holding on, damage reduced. Then we can do everything all over again. Pretty good. Chaos Buster. I don't remember. Is that the one where he swings down swords? Your items fill up with dreams. Oh, healing items. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Oh. Miraculously, we survived that one. Chaos Saber. Okay, that's the one where he swings down stuff. Last dream. Through determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. And then you lose to me again. Let's eat just in case. I think we have to keep using hope to win. The dream came true, your HP was maxed. And again. Fuck! It's okay. He kept holding on, damage reduced. 
Because you want a happy ending! Holy shit! Okay, we're still hanging in there. Azrael calls on Chaos Slicer. Do you think we can take another hit? I think so. You kept holding on! Damage reduced! Because you love your friends! It's starting to not do so much damage though, so that's great. Because you never give up! Holy shit! Fuck! Isn't that delicious? Your determination! The power that lets you get this far! It's gonna be your downfall! Asriel Reddy's Hyper Goner. I don't know how much is kept between our deaths, actually. Let's mm. dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Azriel blocks the way. What the hell are you now? You just 10 times uglier than before. I can't. Okay, he's blocking the way because I can't move over to the fight menu. I can't move move over to the item menu. I can't do anything besides act. Struggle. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power. The whole world is ending. Can't move your body. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Okay, we're determined. You can do this. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Still can't do anything. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now! Why do you think I've been coming back all this time even though I've kept dying? Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You try to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. Oh, we can move now. Save. <gasps> can we save everyone? <sighs> Toriel. You reached out to Azriel's soul and called out to your friends. They're still in there somewhere, aren't they? 
Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. That's right, just like the amalgamates. The lost souls appeared. Do we have to fight them? No. Preference. You tell the lost soul you preferred cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Somehow she faintly recalls hearing this before. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. This is right. Just like how we reached out to the amalgamates in the lab. If we think about things that they remember, maybe it'll help. You hug the lost soul. It seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. No one will leave again. This is my duty. The lost souls stand there. Not yet. I'll hug Toriel too? You hug the lost soul and tell her you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. The lost soul stand there. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Your faith is up to you now! You are our future! You feel something faintly resonating within Asriel. Papyrus and Sans! Within the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appear. Look at our blue heart! You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. I must capture a human! Just give up. I did. Is that another hint about Sans? Like, I still don't know why. There's something strange about him, right? Did he have to do something hard too? Recipe! Spaghetti! You asked the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. Then everyone will. Why even try? Shit. The lost soul stands there. You ask the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Remember at the in Snowden? Eat a little bit first. The dream came true. You insulted the lost soul. Suddenly, its memories are flowing back. Seeing how nicely you treated its brother, the other lost soul remembers too. No, wait! You're my friend! I could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. You feel something resonating with an Asriel. Undyne and Alphys! Within the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die! The lost soul stands there. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're a real enemy. The lost soul stands there. You gave the lost soul a big smile, like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. You feel something strongly resonating with an Asriel. Alphys, let's go.
You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. You hate me, don't you? Uh, oh, I forgot I could shoot. <laughs> the lost soul stands there. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. It's anime! She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You've got to keep lying. You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No! That's not true! My friends like me! And I like you, too! You feel your friend's souls resonating with an Asriel. Can we save him? Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? You feel your friends' souls resonating with an Asriel. What? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No! No! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! It's okay, you won't! I know you're afraid. It's okay. Wallens, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? doing this because you're special Wellens you're the only one that understands me you're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore no that's not just it I I I'm doing this because I care about you Wellens I care about you more than anybody else! I'm not ready for this to end! I'm not ready for you to leave! I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again! So, please! Stop doing this! And just let me win! Stop it! Stop it now! Well, and I'm so alone, Wellens. I'm so afraid. Wellens, I... I...
I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I? Wellens? I know. You're not actually Wellens, are you? Wellens has been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's... A nice name? Frisk... I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside of me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. <sighs> How can I fault somebody who did everything they did just because they felt lonely? But what? Frisk, come on. You're you're going to make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire, with everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. The barrier was destroyed. Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. <sighs> I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... You're gonna do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, 
My time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Frisk! This is all just a bad dream! Please, wake up! Oh! You are awake! Thank goodness! We, we were so worried! It felt like you were out forever! Yeah! Any longer and I would have freaked out! Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah! You made Papyrus cry like a baby! What? I didn't cry! I don't cry! I just caught something in my eye! What did you catch? Tears! Now, now! The important part is that Frisk is alright! Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? Golden flower tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. They forgot about Azriel. There was a flower, and then... Everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Oh my god. Oh. I need a drink. I am like completely dehydrated. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the surface and we can talk to all of them when we come back here. But let's see. Is there anyone else who we can say goodbye to? Oh, but if I want to say goodbye to everybody... I would want to go all the way back to the ruins. Is that okay? Uh, let's see what's in that soul room now then. Man, I didn't expect this 2D pixel art game to make me cry. The coffin is empty? You didn't notice before, but there's something like... Mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. And the other ones are open now. But this one's closed. Hmm. So Wellens? Well, my dude. My, the one I named. Is actually not the character we're playing right now. Uh, we're Frisk. Wellens was Azriel's friend. So the initial human who died. Shit. That's a huge... Holy crap. I'm having an identity crisis here, man. Can you imagine playing for like 12 hours and then realizing that you're not who you are? Whoa, that's too much for me to handle. Okay, if we're gonna say goodbye, we're gonna say goodbye to everybody. Everybody that I can find. So hopefully, I wonder if the ruins are open now because Toriel is here. So I would really like to say goodbye even to the very beginning frog, the beginning spider bake sales, spiders, everybody. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but it's the only chance we'll get to say goodbye, so I'm not gonna skimp out on it.